Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Splatoon 2 and today we'll be doing yet another Splatfest. As you can see, it is baseball versus soccer. I don't know which one to decide, but actually I do. It's gonna be soccer. I know some people are gonna be totally against that decision, but I'll talk about why I chose it and my thoughts on both of the sports. I took this as, you know, a what would you rather play more than a what would you rather watch? Because personally, I don't really like watching sports in general. But yeah, this goes on for Saturday. I will be honest, this is actually one of my few videos that are post-commentated. I was feeling really, really sick for the most of yesterday during a Splatfest, so I just sort of recorded it when I could, but I didn't have the energy to actually talk. So now I feel better, way better. Thank you for uh, people who tweeted at me saying, I hope you feel better, I appreciate it. But yeah, we played a bunch of Splatfest, it's just I didn't talk while I did it. And I feel like I actually did pretty well. We lost a lot. <laughs> Not gonna get your hopes up, we lost a lot, but you know, I haven't looked at the results of the spot fest, so I still don't know who won, but I just jammed out with the duelies, the base spot duelies for most of this episode, or maybe all of it, I can't remember, just because I was when I was in the mood to play. But yeah, I just sort of maybe have a little bit of a different play style, because I just woke up from sleeping all day, from just being, just feeling awful. But I feel way better, don't worry about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, why I chose soccer over baseball. Baseball's a cool sport. Before I say anything else, baseball's cool, soccer's cool. If you call football, in football, that's also cool. But uh, personally, as somebody who has hooves, it's, it's not very easy for me to play baseball. I can't really catch very well, I can't hold the bat. You know, it's just not a very zebra accessible sport, I gotta be honest. So that's where soccer can sort of be a little bit more enjoyable to play. I'm not a very sporty person in general, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure you could have noticed. Uh, but that's also why I'm not very interested in watching sports either. I'm very, you know, active in the way that like, usually I'd rather do something than watch somebody else do, which is odd, given what I do for you guys. But uh, I mean, at the same time, I do like watching some people do some things, but I usually like doing things myself more is the thing. And with sports, I just don't have enough of an interest to actually enjoy watching other people do it. And that's sort of just the simplicity of it. So. Uh, sort of not a splat fest that has topics that resonate with me. Oh, this was cool though. I was starting to splat people left and right. I was super satisfied with some of the splats I got in today's episode. But as you know with Turf War, splats don't always equal wins. So there were some times that things just weren't working out too well for us. Somebody was giving a booyah, so I gave one back. But yeah, I don't really do uh, post commentating too much ever anymore. I used to back in the day, like five or six years ago. But nowadays I just do live because I just enjoy that more. I think it's a lot more fun. Uh, but yeah, I remember, like, I was playing Splatoon 2 and I really thought about it. I don't think I've ever really played Splatoon 2 online without recording before. Or if I have, it was very sparing, so I just don't even remember it. And I gotta play, say, it's like, it's way easier to play a game when you're not talking. I always forget that because I, man, it's been years before, you know, since I really play games anymore without recording them for some purpose, you know? So it, it's different, and I feel like a lot of people do forget when you talk and you play games, there's really a part of your brain you're using that makes games themselves harder to play. So yeah, I am awful at Splatoon still. You'll be able to see that through today's episode. But I'm slightly less worse, just because usually I spend that energy focusing on trying to be somewhat entertaining. But yeah, I've been, a, I've been able to use my superpower a ton in, throughout today's episode. It was just really fun, and look at that, the double splat, I didn't even realize I got that. <laughs> oh, I'm surprising myself even now. Man, I feel like I just did really well with the uh, duelies. They were a lot of fun. I think we won this one. I sure hope we did. What are you a little bit surprised if we didn't? <laughs> but we just were really able to control the enemy team a lot, which is good. Our, actually, our enemies are respawning. I can't remember who won this. <laughs> I just woke up when I played this, so I have no clue. Did we win or did we lose? Oh man, I think we lost this one maybe. I don't know, I can't tell. Ooh, yeah, we didn't, it doesn't look so good. Uh. Ah, oh, see, like, I'm, a, I'm in the ride with you guys, because I totally forget. <laughs> so we didn't win our first round. Like I said, we didn't win many rounds. But 10 splats, more than that, three superpowers is super uncommon for me. But we're gonna move on to the next round here. Soccer isn't looking so good right now. But yeah, since I haven't asked you guys, let me know which one did you choose, which side, soccer, baseball. I'd love to hear your thoughts on why. Have you played those sports? Do you enjoy watching them? Maybe you just know somebody you like a lot who also likes those sports, you know? Any reason's a good reason, and I hope you enjoyed the Splatfest. <laughs> I don't really know who won, but if anything to go off uh, 
you know, how I've done, or how my team did in general. Oh, can we get the quadruple? Oh, we did, I, I I do not remember that this was less than 24 hours ago. How do I not remember? I don't know. <laughs> I was really excited for dinner, okay? <laughs> All right then, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually wanna play a lot more duelies. Duelies are probably my favorite weapon in Splatoon 2, to be honest with you. They're just a lot of fun. Here I try, I do remember this. I try to run away from this guy. Should have just kept attacking him, I think it would have been fine. That's okay. Better luck next time, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm still trying to, I'm probably gonna make this episode just as long as any other Splatfest episode. Uh, that stunk too, because I was really ready to make uh, this Splatfest episode like a longer one. I wanted to see if I couldn't do a Splatfest episode for like an entire hour. Uh, just because I thought that would be a little bit more fun. Usually our Splatoon 2 episodes are about a half an hour. But obviously since I'm post commentating this, it's a little less interesting to do for a full hour when I'm not like into the action talking about what's happening. I don't know, personally that's how I feel at least. Uh, regardless, I do plan on making up for that by doing more Splatoon videos. Of course, we have more weapons to showcase and it's a brand new month, it's April, so there is a new, oh gosh, <laughs> that was just awful. But uh, there is a brand new Salmon Run weapon, so I wanna do that, hopefully earn up some extra tickets as well. I definitely been wanting to do more Salmon Run, so hopefully soon we'll be having a couple episodes on that and the new weapon showcase, ooh, get rid of that guy. And maybe just playing in general, I'm hoping I can get a little better at the game so I can do some more ranked. We are coming up, it is the month that we should be seeing more of the updates. Apparently later this month we'll be having uh, a brand new update that should add a whole lot more clothing to the game. I'm super duper excited for that and hopefully with it a whole bunch of new weapons. I know one of the new maps that was supposed to be included in those updates has already released, and that was uh, Piranha Pit. We did a video showcasing that just a couple of episodes ago. I don't think it was the last episode, but the episode before, so for episode 47. Yeah, <laughs> it's episode 49. We're about to hit 50 episodes of just the online mode, because I did the story mode in a separate series, and people have been asking me if I plan on doing that sort of same thing with the brand new DLC, with the, uh, the Octolings, and yes I do. Uh, the Octoling DLC playthrough will be sort of its own series with its own series episode numbers. It'll be, you know, watchable on its own. You know, I, th I think that sort of works for Splatoon. It's a sort of its own standalone experience anyways. That way people just looking for the story mode can find that. People just looking for the online can find that. I've had some people ask me to showcase more of the Hero Shot replica kind of things. You know, we showcased the one Hero Shot replica, but I never really did any of the Hero Duel replicas or blah, 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 blah. I, don't like playing through some of those story mode levels. It, it just took me so long to do the hero shot that I never really found the time, because if you don't know, how to unlock the hero shot weapons, you have to play every single every single story mode uh, with that one specific weapon, so it stinks. Uh, it's, it's really tough to do, so I haven't done it with any of the other ones. If I did, I would've showcased it, maybe one day. But for now, we lost another round, we're, two, we're zero and two, and we're not getting the Splatfest map for whatever reason. We do eventually get it, and it's really cool, and I can't wait to talk about it. But for the first little while, I was like, what the heck, is it not included this month? What was going on? What's also interesting is, this was a North America specific Splatfest. I don't know why they're always so adamant about doing different Splatfests for each region, because sometimes I'm sort of curious to see what it would have been like playing the other Splatfests and making those choices. It'd be cool if they made two Splatfests a month. You know, that'd be really fun if they did one, and like they alternate it, right? Like we get one, and then Europe gets one, and they, they flip flop. And then like, so later this month, Europe would get I guess it would be for them football versus baseball, which football would definitely win in the popularity contest, I think. As far as I understand, I mean, I don't live there. Maybe you do. Yeah, I don't know which, I, I, I would think that baseball would win the popularity contest here in North America. Baseball is a very popular sport. I mean, so is soccer. But I think that here in America, at least, baseball is really, really popular. I've been using these like crazy though, the, uh, the missiles, they're a lot of fun. They probably are my favorite superpower, and it's super satisfying to launch them, even more satisfying to uh, actually get a splat with them. I'm just doing really well at landing the splats, dodging around when I need to. It was good, like, I've been happy with it. And my overall score, I'm getting pretty close to 1,000 each time, which is really good. That's usually what I go for, on average, with most other things, is I go for 1,000 points. Uh, and I feel like I, I got close enough to that quite a lot of times, so it was really enjoyable. And as you can see so far, we've been pretty good at dominating them, but they also have somebody disconnected. I don't remember if we won this, but we better if they have somebody disconnected, so. That's sort of the thing, is that there was a lot of instances, and I'm sure we'll see it, 
throughout today's episode where people just disconnected. Maybe there was a previous round already that I just didn't notice somebody disconnected. It's just like, if you are winning, leave is not a good man tap mentality to have because as you'll be able to see, I think that we already saw that in today's episode of the very first round. We were doing well, we were dominating them, held them into the spawn, but the last like three or four seconds, not even like, okay, like 30 seconds of the round, they totally turned it around on us. So it's like, why leave when in Splat, Splatfest or, uh, what's it called, uh, Turf War, you can always turn it around in like 20, 30 seconds, like nothing. So what's the point of even disconnecting at that point? You could win at any moment, so why give up? Oh, didn't even see that guy. That surprised me. Okay, but as you can see, we were really holding these guys back in the base. I sort of feel bad about it. Some of us do get splatted. I get a little worried that they will come back in the next 20, 20 seconds or so. Because it's possible, like I said, so I just start doing some janitor stuff because I'm not gonna be able to get the, out there soon enough. So I just run out there and just try to fill up everything I can. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna make it, not gonna make it, not gonna make it. And I just throw some bombs over there. Oh, and I immediately get splatted. Jeez, I stink. They really tried. Props to them. Fortunately, there's not much you can do when uh, you just have somebody disconnected. It really is. You know, Splatoon is one of those games. You just really need the four people. Especially a 3v4, that's incredibly difficult. Uh, but yeah, so we won 62 to 22. 40% lead, I got nine splats again. I've been like either right on the edge or just hitting double digit splats, which is super exciting. With the dualies, I'm, I'm, like, I'm just been really happy with it that I start stuttering like crazy. But uh, now we finally have, is this, no, no, never mind. But this map's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this one. I thought that the map set, the choosing of the maps was so pretty far, pretty tame. Maps we've seen quite often. But I think that the maps do rotate in Splatfest too. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, they do. Because I remember we do do some different maps later. Because what ended up happening is I recorded half of this video, then I went to go have dinner because I couldn't wait no more. And then I had, and then I uh, did the second half. Seeing how I wasn't talking, it wasn't a big deal. Usually I try not to do that for the actual videos where I'm talking and try to do it all in one go. But hey, since I wasn't, I took, I took my liberties. Okay, so I don't know how well we did this round. They all sort of blend together in my head right now, so I can't really remember. When there's no you know, commentary over it, it's very hard to remember anything about it. But so far, like, I feel like I've gotten pretty good at knowing all the sort of hidden ins and outs of this map in general. I feel like this is one of the maps I've played a lot more. You know, the little crevices, a lot of uh, maybe players that aren't too familiar with this map might not think to hit. For whatever reason, I kept on trying to fire there, even though I was totally out of ink. But I also have the uh, blaster. I tried to get at least more than one person. It looks like we're doing really good as a team right now. It's just a matter of if anybody disconnects or not. That's what it always is. is who gets the first person to disconnect? <laughs> Which team? That's the team that'll lose. Oh, I did see somebody up there, so I go around, and by the time I get here, they're already gone. They're already gone bye-bye. But staying up here is pretty good because we can sort of stay overhead of them. We can sort of pay attention to where they're going. So that's why I hopped off. I also wanted to, yeah, yeah, I guess I went over here to try to clean up anything they might have done. Nobody had touched up here. There's another little crevice that sometimes people forget about, and that's just extra turf for us, which is great. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, the roller. <laughs> there are some roller players who will just sort of hold down the roller and just run forward and hope with all of their might that they get something or someone. Okay, so, uh, oh geez. Oh, I remember this guy. This was, like, I was trying so hard to get this guy. And I just couldn't for the life of me. He just kept throwing his bombs down over and over. I was like, you aren't interested in the go again. So you just throw your bombs down. And they just put his bomb down, run away. I just fill it up and I'm like, okay, you're making me bored. I'm just gonna fill up other turf. And and so I did. And I, I, I was sort of regretful because I just wasted a bunch of time up there when I really didn't need to. People were chasing me. I And I pulled up the superpower right the worst time, but the guy forgot. And then there's the roller person again, get up. Yeah. Oh, and I got the, I got, once again, I got the missile splat, which is cool. I just get so excited, I'm, like I said, I'm along the ride with you guys because I totally forget what happened. <laughs> okay, okay. And then he's still up there being a total jerk. And he gets me, because I'm awful. <laughs> I was like, oh, you stinker. You're a stinky stinker. Will they turn this around on us? I don't know. I hope not, but this main area was totally like super unfilled, so I just tried to spot down some bombs as much as I could, and it really didn't do too much, but I think we won overall. Yeah, we definitely won this one. So yeah, another good round right there. So we've won two so far out of the four. So yeah, I haven't been doing spectacular in any way of the word. 
but I've been doing okay. Seven splats, I've done three superpowers, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, I got about 754 points there. It's okay, nothing crazy. But I think they did have another person disconnected. But finally, we get the actual Splatfest specific map. And this one's really cool in my opinion. It uses those little bubble things, as you can see in the sky right there, where if you hit them, you sort of teleport to them. I don't know if any other Splatfest map has used those yet, but they're really cool. And I just sort of thought, why hasn't an actual Splatoon 2 map used one of these before? It made me think there was a ton of really cool mechanics that were added in Splatoon 2 story mode that really weren't touched upon too much. Ooh, that was a good one right there, the triple. But uh, they really weren't touched upon too much in the actual uh, online mode, which I thought was a total missed opportunity. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I got cornered. <laughs> I mean, I got a good couple splats. I think I got two of them. But yeah, this map is really big. It, it feels really hard to control everything that's going on just because there's so much ground to cover. Uh, sort of like Piranha Pit. You know, I've been talking about that a lot when we were playing Piranha Pit. But uh, yeah, these little teleport areas are a lot of fun to get to. They're also really smart because there's a lot of times like you might be overwhelmed, you might be a little scared. You can hit those and sometimes the enemy just won't expect you to do that. That time that guy was totally expecting me to do it. Oh, can I get him here? I sure hope I do. I sure hope I do. Uh, I probably don't though. Oh, oh, ah, oh, come on. We got so close so many times there. Oh wow, we tried. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're in the danger. We're not doing so great. But I do see a lot of spots that none of my teammates really grab too much, so I try to fill it up as much as I possibly can. It gets me a superpower a little bit easier. And then this is a nice little spot to jump, I think, because it just has a lot of area to cover. And it might be easier for them to reach. I don't think this was a very symmetrical map, but this is where I sort of, you know, personally, I really don't like that Splatfest is only one day instead of two, because if you don't know, at least for like my time zone, it starts the very minute it becomes Saturday and ends the very minute it becomes Sunday. So 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., 24 hours to play the Splatfest. I think that's like, why not make it both Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday? Why is it just one day? Because it's like, if you just had one scheduled discrepancy that day, like you just felt super sick and you know couldn't even keep your bowl of cereal down, like, what are you supposed to do? No Splatfest for you, sir. <laughs> I said, that totally sinks. It's like, why not just two days? What are they gonna lose from that? I don't know. This doesn't sound very good, especially since I'm like very used and maybe a little spoiled from Garden Warfare 2. Like, they have weekly events, you know, super mix mods. And not only, but they're available from Thursday to Sunday. So Thursday, Friday, so four days. You know, it's like, what the heck? Why is Spotify giving us a measly one day? <laughs> I think this is total baloney. It, I don't really see the excuse for it. I mean, I don't, I don't expect Splatfest to be a full four days, but I think two days is plenty fine, or like a day and a half, where I, like, I'm desperately trying to catch our team up here because we are not doing so well. I'm filling it up as much as I can. I almost ran right into the auto bomb, trying to be careful of all the enemies, and then I realized that that wasn't a teammate, it was an enemy. Fill it up, and then you can actually go into there, and I didn't realize, like, oh, hey, you can go in here. Too bad I'm splatted. But did we win that one? Oh, I don't think we did. That's a shame. I don't really know what it was because I feel like my performance was overall okay for most of these rounds, but either somebody disconnected or our team just didn't synergize or we just didn't have the right weapons. Like three out of our four players there had dualies. One of them looked like they disconnected. So it was, this is like the fourth game in today's episode out of five where somebody's just disconnected. Luckily we got another chance here. Hopefully no disconnections this time. Yeah, I really do like this uh, version of the Splatfest map. I really sometimes just wish that you could play these all the time because they're so much fun. And just recording this uh, this voiceover for this episode is making me in the mood to play Splatoon, so I might just record more Splatoon after this. Oh man, because this game just, it's so much fun. I am so excited for the new updates, and I'm glad you guys are still enjoying and supporting the series this far out. Like I said, we are one episode away from 50. That is super exciting because I really enjoy this game, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed enough to support me going this far into it and are still eagerly waiting for more. So thank you, you're the best. Okay, so there's a guy in a jetpack over there. I'm trying to do what I can about it, but also just keep filling things up. Because luckily right now we have a very strong power in numbers and I'm trying to keep it that way. Oh my, ooh, teammates got my back. That was great. Oh, got on the high ground there. But the thing is, is that some of our teammates get splatted, but then I keep moving and then all of a sudden we are outnumbered and I get taken out and then the cycle continues because they'll be out somewhere else and then we're still outnumbered. And apparently you can make that jump, which is really cool. I didn't do much up here, but maybe if there wasn't three enemies there, I could have done a little bit more. That was foolish of me because I sort of left my teammate there in the dust. I shouldn't have done that, but hey, 
I get to review my gameplay here a little bit, which is something I'm not used to. Look at this dude slamming down there. Stop your slamming. <laughs> That's sort of the thing, like, I really do like the dualies, especially since I just showcased the N Perry splat dualies not too long ago, a couple episodes ago. I got to try, you know, another set of dualies and really think about it. And there you have the roller bomb, the one that's, you know, looks like a Roomba. And I like that, but at the same time, I really prefer this. Being able to throw down that little water balloon bomb and then being able to finish them off is really good, because the water balloon bomb doesn't cost much, which I really like a non-costly bomb. And then on top of that, it's just like, you have enough ink left over to finish them off like that. It covers them in enough ink so that it's harder for them to move and get away, but also not too much ink is used so that you can't use the rest of your ink to get rid of them. You know, it's, it's just perfect. I think it's perfect with the dualies and I can't really ask for anything more. So, you know, the other dualies, they're good. But without that that bomb, at least for the base dualies, right? With the Enperry Splat dualies, it has the same stats as this dually, and see I got up here and I realized nobody had covered that area, and I'm like, that's not right. We gotta fix that up. So basically I'm just trying to do some panicked uh, janitor duty, I run into some enemies. Not too many of them noticed me, but then they sort of went around too, so we <laughs> made a little bit of a circle. Oh gosh, oh gosh, do I hold on? I don't know if we win this one, I really hope we do though. I'm rooting for us. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, it's like I'm watching it with you guys. It's like a little theater, and we're watching together. Okay, so I just try to fill up what we can. 10 seconds left. Oh boy, get that guy. No, I fell, really? That's just embarrassing. <laughs> I sort of remember that now. Oh, he totally won. Oh, it's fine. That's probably why I didn't remember, because then I saw that it was fine. I'm like, ah, oh, what's it matter? If I make a mistake, we still win. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There's one, one on this map, which is great. And then we, st I think we have, yeah, we still have two more rounds to go. It did switch maps at this point, so this is probably post dinner. I had a great dinner, it was delicious. Um, but yeah, this is Snapper Canal. This one was interesting. I've been playing a lot of Snapper Canal recently. I don't know why, but the game has just been giving it to me a ton. So I've been trying to learn this one a little bit, try to get things covered. I usually try to go to this farther corner. You can see that there was an orange enemy that made the way out pretty far, pretty quickly. Uh, but I just want to build up my superpower. That's sort of the thing that I've seen that sort of works for this uh, synergy, this uh, setup, is that getting that superpower right away, usually a lot of people don't expect an early missile. That's why it's a lot of fun to do. I almost got exploded by a mine there. And uh, had to be careful because I should know where we are and I'm being chased by missiles myself. But I was able to get my missiles out before they got theirs out. Tried to sneak up on that person I was able to, but then I got got by another blaster person. I don't know, I, I had a lot of fun with this, so I feel like, I, once again, I really wish, because I would have just recorded Splatfest today, because I feel totally up to it, if I could have, if it was available today, instead of, you know, having to post commentary like this, because I still I enjoy doing live commentary a whole lot more than I do doing this. Not to say like, oh, this video stinks, but you know what I mean, I hope. I was actually surprised I landed that one, the range on that was pretty cool. I'm almost getting splatted here, and I do. <laughs> but I almost got away which is pretty good. I also got my superpower, so hopefully I'll be able to earn that up for the next life, which is right now. So I'm just trying to search around, look for any spots to cover, undo what the enemy has done, but also try not to play awful. I just feel like, yeah, I was able to hit my target a lot more consistently, and that might be just because I, I didn't have the haziness of desperately trying to be entertaining. Uh, or maybe it was just I was doing well that day. Try to find a fair mix of everything when I'm actually playing games, you know? But I feel like there are times, like I think throughout this round so far, it seems like I do over approach too much. I'm trying too hard to get some splats when in reality, I should just be focused on earning up uh, some more superpower, try to throw some missiles that way, their way. That way it sort of overwhelms them. And then I should be able to move in for more splats. Cause the missiles, if they're not anything else, are very overwhelming. Oh gosh, get him, please. No, you didn't get him. We're doing all kinds of wrong in this one. I don't know who wins, but it's probably not us. Yeah, I don't know if anybody disconnected the previous round, but I'm going to assume that someone did, just because of how often it's been happening. And it's like, if it was just that there just happened to be a lot of people with internet issues and maybe just a lot of weird disconnections, like, oh, okay, that's fine. Obviously, you can't get too mad at that. You know, I can't blame anybody. But if it's just people just rage quitting, I just don't understand why, you know? It's like, it's like Splatoon 2, it's like, it's, it's Turf War specifically, it's so easy to turn around. Almost every game mode in this game, it's very easy to turn around. Oh gosh, will I take you out? 
Oh, I do, look at that. And I think I try to take this opportunity as much as I can to fill up all this turf. Because that person is splatted until basically uh, it's all said and done. They only had two people out there for the last couple of seconds. So you would think we'd win that one, and we did. That's awesome. So yeah, that, that's a good example. There was a fair couple of moments there where we were clearly not winning, but we spotted a good couple people at just the right time and then covered as much turf as we could and then boom, bam, boom, we won. Ain't that great? All right then, so the last round of the day, you can see our soccer points are getting up and up. We had 1840. But yeah, I would really like to see, like, I never really get too far in Splatfest, because I usually record my one video, and that's all the time I have to do, and then I move on to other things for, with my day, with other videos and stuff, so I never really get too far up the rankings with Splatoon, Splatoon's Splatfest, which I totally regret. I wish I could do more of them, which is why I wanted to make this Splatfest video a little bit longer, but I wasn't feeling well, and I wasn't able to record it live. Hopefully next month. Next month is May, who knows what we're gonna get. I don't remember what Europe ended up getting. Huh, maybe I'll Google it really quick. <laughs> I have that liberty. Uh, Splatoon 2 April Splatfest. Oh gosh, there's missiles heading towards me. I hear them. But yeah, for US, of course, it was baseball versus soccer. But then for Europe, it was popcorn should be salty versus popcorn should be sweet. Why? What? Where'd I get that one from? I mean, okay, if I have to weigh in, for those of you who also had that Splatfest, I would love to hear which one you chose. Uh, I would say both. This salty popcorn is great. Sweet popcorn, also great. Have you ever had caramel covered popcorn? It's delicious. I love it. But you know, normal salty popcorn or maybe even cheddar covered popcorn, that's a delicious snack too. Why can't we both be happy? Why is there not a both option? I'm pretty sure if there was a both option in Splatfest, I would choose that every single time. <laughs> okay, well, that's an odd one. But that would be interesting. Like, what if there were two spot fests a month? Why, why? I mean, maybe it's just for the sake of variety, right? North America gets one, Europe gets another. But for the people who don't care about popcorn or the people who don't care about sports are at this sort of weird disadvantage, especially if they don't care about sports and they love popcorn or they hate popcorn, but they love sports, you know? <laughs> then things are all mixed up. Why don't you have two spot fests a, a, a month? And that'd be pretty good. Oh boy, oh boy, can I get you? Ooh, the dodging around. That was really good. Now I've been getting these missiles so often. I've been getting like an average of two or three times a game, which is way more often than I'm used to that time. I just didn't know what to do. And that's what I'm saying. That's how great the missiles are. I think that was two people worth of missiles heading my way because there was that other guy next to me. And this guy's by my spawn. I'm like, nah, -uh, not happening, sir. Not by my spawn. I take him out and I'm desperately trying to fill everything up, seeing if we can't turn things around, but there are people taking out left and right, and they're all on my team. <laughs> so I'm trying really hard, but it seems like just no matter how much I try to make a dent, I turn around and they've just like, hey, we filled up everything behind you, you know? It's like, what can I do in that situation? I try to splat them, their friends respawn, my friends get splatted, what can I do? I don't think I use the missiles here, I just try to survive and fill things up as much as I can. I know they're chasing me, so the only thing I can really do is try to take him out and then go keep going, keep going, keep moving. Do we win this one? I really can't remember. I sure hope so, though, because I'm trying really hard. I'm getting invested. I hope we won. Oh, we did not win that one. I'm just like, uh, what could I have done? I don't know. I had no clue. No lesson learned here. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of losses. Uh, with this Splatfest, unfortunately. I don't think I did my team very much justice, which is really unfortunate. But that's gonna wrap it up, I think. We did what we could, we had a good time, and I'll be back soon with more awesome live commentated Splatoon 2 action. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Splatoon 2. If you watched this video, make sure you comment Soccer Zebra, so you have watched at the end that you are a Zebra Tassi viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.